What's up, Rare Moment fam? Welcome back to the show. I am AG. This is Cole. We are the Rare Moment. Today, we are back with a little beginner strategy guide to NBA Top Shot, probably as well as this probably per, uh, pertains to NFL all day as well, but mainly talk about NBA Top Shot here today. We've been getting a lot of questions about it. Uh, people just kind of wanting to us to update and give just some tips and some pointers on how they should handle first going about getting onto this site and, and platform. So before we get into this video, smash that like button right now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter at The Rare Moment for all the latest updates, giveaways, and announcements. Spotify when you're on the go. Comment section down below. For all those experts out there, all the geniuses, the top shot gurus, if we forgot something or if you think any of these other Beginners just getting onto this platform, something that they should know. Let us know in that comment section down below. Help us out a little bit. With all that being said, let's get into it here today, Cole. You and I have been on this platform now for over a year. We've had our trials. We have our tribulations. We've learned a lot, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Mostly so, downs. So uh, <laughs> I'm excited to kind of get into it here and just kind of talk to some people about what we've learned so far and just kind of give some tips. So I'm going to let you start it off here. What do you got for him for tip number one? Yeah, for tip number one, my first tip would be to, before you do anything, before you put any money into your Dapper wallet and buy any moments or packs, I would spend some time, whether it's a few days, a week or two, to just sit back and browse and see how the site works. You know, browse the marketplace, see where the pack page is, see where your collection page is, see how the challenge page works. Go look at the marketplace, see if there's any moments out there that you might want to buy. You know, just take some time, take a few days before you just dive in head first. So that way you're not just rushing into it and spending a bunch of money without knowing what you want to do. Tip number two here, only spend what you can afford to spend. If you're a college student, you got to decide. You're going to spend $20 on NBA Top Shot. You're going to go spend $20 on beer that night. What are you going to do? You know, you're a married man. Well, you might want to run it past the wife first about what the spending limit is. You need to assess, assess what the risk tolerant is here. Only spend what you're willing to lose. You know, if you got $100, you want to start with $100, you're willing to lose $100, you're willing you're willing to see that $100 just tank immediately and spend that $100, right? So just be sure you're spending what you can afford. I think that's a very important tip just to start out on this platform. All right. So tip number three would be to have a strategy, you know, have a strategy coming onto this site. What ask yourself, what are you here to do? Are you here to just be a collector? Are you just here to flip moments for profits? Are you here to collect hall of famers? Are you here to collect rookies? You know, what, what is your end game here? Are you here to collect your favorite players, team sets, you know, what is it that you want to accomplish here? Because if you're coming onto the site without any strategy and you're just kind of, you know, throwing crap against the fan and hoping that something sticks, well, that's probably not the best strategy. I kind of wish that I had actually had a strategy when I first started way back when last January, because when I first came on, I was just kind of throwing crap against the fan and hoping something would stick. And it did for a little bit and then it didn't after that. <laughs> yeah. So I just wish that I had actually, you know, had a strategy coming into this and I would probably be sitting in a better position than I am right now. Yeah. And, you know, just to add to that, you know, take your profit when you can, you know, um, from what, what we've seen on this site is long term, a lot of these moments have decreased in value long term. So I would love to sit here and say, right now, May 9th, 2022 this is a good time to buy an nba top shot but every time i've said that in the past the <laughs> markets continued to go down so like like cole saying have a strategy if, if you're looking to flip well then maybe you know you need to go look at some challenges if you're looking to just keep it cool keep it calm keep it collected then just invest in players that you like you know just 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 have a strategy that's all we're saying understand what you're here to do on NBA Top Shot, and that's going to really help you out in the long term. Mm -hmm. So tip number four, 
I think another important one to touch on is utilize your resources here. You need to go get an NBA Top Shots Discord. You need to follow NBA Top Shot on Twitter. Those are going to be your first go-tos as far as announcements. Anytime uh, they announce challenges, anytime they're giving playoff tickets away, how to get entered, you know, how to get how to get free stuff, how to get entered in, in t- for moments, how to win packs, how to do anything. You want to be the first in line. You got to be the first on the update. I, I have prospered big time by being ahead of the game and setting my notifications for certain channels on Discord. Not everyone because it pisses me off, but <laughs> for certain ones like challenges, stuff like that, I want to be the first to know about those things. So I can so I can be the first to jump on the site and beat the speculation by a moment before the pump and then sell it off when the pump's happening. So go on Discord, go on Twitter, follow those guys. Make sure you're up to date with all the latest announcements and you know, you're gonna be finding yourself ahead of the curve a lot of the time. You know, with that being said, also it'll also let you know if you're late into the game, right? I mean, if you go on Discord and you and you saw a challenge update a half hour ago, an hour ago, before you go buy, before you just go purchase moments, go do your research, go to the site, go make sure you're not buying in, in the midst of a pump and all of a sudden you're gonna lose money. Right. So just be aware of those things. But that's what Discord, that's what Twitter's for is utilize those resources to make sure you're getting in first. Make sure, you you know, you're going to get ahead of the game. All right. Moving on to tip number five here would be to collect what you love. Just, you know, be on the site, collect your favorite players, collect your favorite team, collect your favorite sets, you know, do or buy what you want to buy don't listen and to anybody else don't don't even listen to us if there's any moments that we put in a video that we're talking about that we think might be a good idea to buy don't listen to that if you want to buy a certain moment go buy that you know don't buy what other people are buying just because they're doing it or they're telling you to do so because you're your own pro- person you can make your own decisions and ultimately that's going to make you have a much better time on this site, just collecting what you love and not having to stress about if this moment's going to, that you just bought on pure speculation, if this is going to pump overnight and you're going to wake up tomorrow morning and either have made $30 or the moments, you know, decrease 50% in value. It's just going to be a lot healthier and a lot more of a happy time on Top Shot when you're just collecting what you love. You know, most people that come on to this, we come on to it because we're sports fans, right? I mean, yeah, you're going to get those NFT guys. You're going to get the people that think they're going to come on here and make $1,000 in a week. And that's just not going to happen. Those days are long. Those days are long over, guys. So don't think you're going to come on here and make two grand in the matter of two days and start paying all your bills with NBA Top Shot because it's just it's not going to happen. So collect what you love. That's what's important. That's why we're all on here is because we're sports fans. We're, we're fanboys. You buy moments because you like moments. If you're if you're an Atlanta Hawks fan, go search out the Atlanta Hawks set. Start start trying to aim at collecting sets because that's going to give you utility in the future, right? You need to be looking in to what's going to give you the best utility. And I think being a fan and collecting your team's moments actually helps with that because if you collect your team set, that could help you get free playoff tickets, could help you get entered into drawings, stuff like that. So just collecting moments you love from your team can actually really help you out for future utility on NBA Top Shot. Yeah, to kind of just add one last thing real quick, if in case any of you guys are new and you just heard AG talking about playoff tickets, you're going, what, playoff tickets? Yeah, so if you were a holder of any team sets in round one of this year's playoffs they were sending people to playoff games all throughout round one and they're doing the same thing for every round this playoffs they've altered the requirements for round two we have yet to see what it is for round three but for round one if you were a holder of a team set you were automatically entered into a drawing for free playoff tickets for that team all right the last tip we got for you guys which is what we use almost every day is what it seems like is <laughs> use you using third party tools like evaluate market. I just want to bring it up real quick. This is, this is evaluate market for those of you who have 
never been on it before who, or have seen us use it. You know, this is such a useful tool. I mean, there's so many things you could do do with it. You know, you could look at specific moments. You could look at sets. I know Cole and I, this is what we use to to track sets. You can see the total lowest ask if you're going for a challenge. Just kind of see what the set's doing, where the trend line's at. See it kind of dip down. Maybe it might have been a good chance to, to buy right here and then, you know, came back up a little bit. You can just kind of see what moments in the sets are going for. Yeah, I was yeah. just going to say you can track your portfolio as well. You can look at other people's accounts too. Looks like they're also working on a challenges tab. So I would assume they would be yeah, looks like they got challenges uploading right here. some yeah challenges to where you can see, you know, maybe how much these challenges are going to cost, maybe right. how many people have completed it so far. And probably one of the most useful things is just looking at moments in particular. If you're interested and you're eyeing a moment, whether it's for flipping or, you know, just trying to get it at a, gr at a great price, this is, this is where you're going to go right here. You know, you can see how many are owned, how many, you know, unique owners there are, how many are remaining in circulation, how many are in circulation. You know, you can see with the price they're being sold for, you scroll all the way down. You can see the number of transactions over time. You can kind of see this trend line here. I, I mean, I just love looking at trend lines, whatever it is. Yeah, and you not, can look at these over a one day, seven day, thirty day, ninety all day, day, or yeah. all all time. Yeah. So exactly, numerous you know, you trend can, lines you can look yeah. at. I mean, you can zoom into just a certain section here just to see. So you know, utilize the resources at hand. It's something that we've talked about numerous times. Just like how we talked about using Discord, using Twitter, use third party tools like Evaluate Market. Helps you out with your research. Helps you make really good decisions in times where you're trying to flip or you're just trying to buy a moment at a decent price, whatever it may be, use your third party tools to your advantage. Yeah. And one last thing real quick is their link is always in our description below. So go ahead and click on that. If you need to head on over to their website, you know, Cole and I have learned a lot over the last year or so of being on this site and we could go on for another hour or so of what to do and what not to do. <laughs> Uh, trust us, but we wanted to simplify this here and just give you just some basic tips. And if and if you guys want more tips, you want us to expand on some of this stuff, hit us up in that comment section down below. Ask us some questions. We're more than ha happy to ask uh, answer some questions for you guys down in that comment section and have a further discussion with you. We're not telling you disclaimer disclaimer here. This isn't financial advice. We're not saying that you follow these six, tip, six, six tips, you're going to become a millionaire and you're going to make butt ton of money on this. But you follow these six tips and you're going to have a good time on this side at least. You're going to find yourself not pissed the hell off trying to, you know, scratch in your head wondering why you're not making rent this month. So ask us questions. We're more than happy to talk to you guys. We love you. We hope you guys enjoyed this here today. We always enjoy helping people out learning from our failures, our pitfalls. That's what we're here for. Smash that like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter at The Rare Moment for all the latest updates, giveaways, and announcements. We love you guys. You're the best family out there. We appreciate all you guys do for us. Keep motivating us to push us to keep doing videos like this. We're down here in the trenches with you guys. We're still fighting. We're still scratching. We're still clawing. We're always going to be here for you. So, we appreciate you. You guys enjoy the rest of your week out there. Keep your eye out for more content. As always, good luck collecting out there, everybody. See you in the next one. Peace.